Hi there, today we're gonna talk about what is a digital marketing campaign and how to create one. So let's start by a simple definition to a digital marketing campaign. And it's an online marketing activity put forward by a company to drive engagement with a specific goal in mind. And this goal could be to drive conversions, generate traffic, or introduce a new product or an event. A campaign is a series of multiple marketing activities that share the same message, branding, and concept. And this is exactly what differentiates a campaign from your day-to-day -day marketing activities or having scattered activities that bear no connection to each other. This message should be very clear and concise. This is exactly what differentiates a campaign from your day-to-day -day marketing activities or having scattered activities that bear no connection to each other. You can choose the channels you're going to use for your campaign's communication based on its nature, objectives, and the audience you're trying to reach. So one campaign can run on as many or as few channels as you wish. And your campaign could be running on multiple social media platforms, email marketing, paid search ads or display ads, and so on and so forth. Now we're going to share a seven step process of how to create a digital marketing campaign. And the first step is to set your objectives and goals for the campaign. Now campaigns take up a lot of effort and often an additional budget. So this must be justified to the stakeholders or to you as a business owner if you're gonna run a campaign by yourself. Your campaign's goals need to be tied with the company's vision and goals. Some campaigns are seasonal, like a Christmas campaign or a summer campaign. Other campaigns are product-based, meaning they focus on one specific product or service to boost its sales or because it was rebranded maybe or launched for the first time. The second step is to identify the target audience. Answering the question of who you're trying to reach will make it a lot easier to execute the upcoming steps. Even if you have a wide audience, you still need to select a segment or two to communicate with them during the campaign, because it's nearly impossible to come up with a concept that resonates with each and every person. But you can always aim to narrow the gap by splitting your target audience into two segments or two sections. The main target audience, the ones you must reach, and the would-be nice to reach audience. That way you can set priorities straight. The third step is to take a look at your competition and other relevant campaigns. This is a great way for inspiration and for understanding the current communication trends and approaches. You'll have a better understanding of how people expect brands to communicate and how they respond to them. This exercise is also good to note what you like about other companies' campaigns and what you don't, to better understand how you can differentiate your offer. The fourth step is to choose your channels. So from your understanding of the target audience and the competitive landscape, you'll be able to select the right channels based on the behavior of your target audience online. Social media platforms are usually one of the main channels for digital marketing campaigns, side by side with paid social media ads, paid search ads, banner ads, and email marketing, and so on and so forth. The fifth step is to come up with the creative concept, and this is super important for any marketing campaign. The creative concept is the tool or the means of how you're going to deliver the message, what kind of engaging or creative elements are you going to use. Now, whether you're going to run the campaign entirely in-house, work with an agency, or split the work between the two, you need to come up with several concepts, test them, and collect feedback. Even if you can't afford testing concepts in focus groups, test them internally within your company or within different departments, or even within your close circle. And when you're choosing your concept or your creative idea, remember that the best ideas are simple, focused, and memorable. The sixth step is to develop and review your campaign's assets. And those involve the visual assets, the ad copies like the tagline, the wording, the captions, etc. Now the assets you will create will be in line with the creative concept, of course, and they both should reflect your brand and ensure your brand promise and value proposition are present within the communication. The seventh step is to assign your budget and tie it to KPIs. 
Now, when you're creating a digital marketing campaign, you're usually splitting the budget between producing the content and media buying or paid promotions. So you need to reasonably split your budget between the two and allocate a specific budget to every channel in detail. That's how you can monitor where your budget is going. Now, with digital advertising, your ad spend has expected KPIs and numbers to achieve that you must be aware of before starting the campaign. You must also sign that off with the media buying agency or with whoever will run your paid promotions. Now, thank you very much for watching that video. And if you need any help with running your next digital marketing campaign, we're happy to help. Just drop us a comment and we'll get back to you.